Okay, hello Aquarians. How are you? I hope everybody's doing fine. Okay, I'm back again with a reading for you guys. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post the video. New viewers, um, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Okay, sit back, enjoy the reading, you guys. I hope you gain some clarity, like always. I hope you gain clarity on something you need to hear, something that will you guys. All right? I hope you guys have a blessed, safe weekend. I hope your Monday at work goes well. All right? I hope you have a blessed week ahead. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get some cards to drop. Hey. Okay, Aquarius. Show us Aquarius' energy. Show us Aquarius' energy. Okay, wow, those flew out. Those cards flew. Oh, my glasses. Oh, you see my glasses? Oh, my God. I don't want to put my glasses. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands here. Sag Leo Aries energy. We have the Three of Wands. Uh-oh, Aquarius. You got a fire sign in your energy. Sag Leo Aries, unless you have fire in your chart. There you go. Emperor Aries. There's an Aries in your energy. Or Emperor. Somebody might be dealing with an older. Somebody older. Um, Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth energy here. Oh, it's an Aries. There we go. There go that Aries again. They could be younger than you. They could just be very successful and younger. They could be like childlike, immature, something of that nature. The King of Cups. We have um, Cancer energy. It could be a Pisces or Scorpio energy. All right. So here, let's see what's going on. The Nine of Wands here. Somebody. Ooh. Somebody's watching you from afar. Nine of Wands. They can't move forward without you. Um. Yeah, if you're with somebody else, they're watching you. Somebody watching you. They're going through a mental and physical struggle without you right now. Or it's, it's a struggle for this person. Because look at this gate between you and this person. And you're with somebody else. It's like this gate is keeping them away from you. So you could have blocked this person or something. Or you're not talking to this person. And they're going through a struggle. Um, you know... Being away from you, not being able to talk to you. Not being able to do, you know, yeah. So something is keeping this person from being able to communicate with you, you know, being keeping them from being able to be around you. Or it could be something that they could keep them from being able to express. It's like a block here. So somebody's blocked. Maybe you're blocking this person or something of that nature. Um, the three of wands, and they're waiting. They're waiting for you to open that door again. You know, you could have turned your back on this person, or they're feeling like you turned your back on them. Um, wow, they're willing you, manifesting you back in their life. This emperor energy is here. Or this is how they see you. You could be older than this person. You could be in your mid-40s and up. And they could just see you as an emperor. They could see you very, you know, successful or growing into a success or something of that nature. Um, well, they do see you as emperor status. They do see that. but And that could be why they're manifesting you back in their life. Willing you back. This person may go against the grain. And try to do whatever it takes um, to get you back if this manifesting doesn't work. They're going to do whatever they can. Something clever, cunning to get you back in their good graces. The Six of Pentacles this year, yeah. To get this attention, time, and stability back that they want with you. 
So yeah, like I said, they're gonna go against the grain. They're gonna try if this manifests it doesn't work, they're gonna go against the grain. Just to get your time, attention, and stability with you. So this somebody they want stability. Oh, they're gonna come in to you. So there is a communication gonna come in from this person. They're gonna come and express something to you, announce something to you. All right, you could see this person play too many games, or you could see them as immature. This person could have had a lot of pride, and they're about to let that pride down and come and express something to you. Yeah, some emotions that they have for you. This person has a lot of emotions for you, so they're coming to express the emotions that they have for you. They're letting it out. They're coming letting their emotions out to you. Um, they could be seeking affections from you as well. So if you're not down for that, look out for that. Because this person could be seeking some affection. Mm, this person could be very sneaky as well. Um, the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. They're coming in for a, su a successful new beginning of stability with you. All right. And they may do something sneaky to get this successful new beginning of stability off the ground. Um, seven of Wands, they could be at a distance from you, so they're traveling towards you. All right. This person could come in and want you to, you know, go on some type of travel with them to help you guys heal. Yeah, this person is wanting a reunion with you. So they coming in, you may, you may get a visit or a call from this person talking about they in town or something. Seven of Wands. They no longer... Yeah. Because this is... Yeah. Yep. You could be fending them off. Or you might fend this person off. When they come in and get this successful new beginning of stability, some of you guys might fight this person off. I mean, you might fend them off. All right. They want a new beginning of growth with you. Yep, three of, three of cups. They're wanting a reconciliation, this person. All right, um, seven of wands. Where I said you may, some of you guys might continue to fend this person off. Um, continue blocking this person. Mm. Yeah. They're going to still continue to try to get that um, new beginning with you. Um, Aquarius' energy. The Six of Swords is here. Yeah, they want to move to better waters, Aquarius. Or you may just move on. You may move. You know, they're going to attempt to reconcile with you. They're going to attempt to attempt to have a new beginning to grow with you. But you just may move on to better water somewhere else. Um, uh, you may just be tired and ready to end the cycle where you were dealing with this person. And you're just ready to embark on a new beginning somewhere else. Some of you... Um, Some of you, you may move to better waters with this person in the cycle somewhere else and move to better and just have a new beginning with this person. You may give them another chance. We're going to see. Let me see. The six of wands. Yeah, you're going to have a, a yeah, you're going to charge for it. This person is going to get their victory. They're going to charge for it in a victory with you. So they could have ended up, they could have ended a cycle somewhere else. And just to come in and get a new beginning with you. So they can charge for it in a victory with you. Yeah, because all they did was think about you, fantasize about you. Okay. Are you inwardly satisfied them? Okay, this person has always held on to you, no matter who they were with. They held on to you, Aries energy. This is definitely an energy, uh, Aries you're dealing with. Aquarius' energy. The Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person sees you as, you know, strong, independent, beautiful, um, creative. You know, this is how this person sees you. They see you being 
successful stability wise. Um, they can see you as their equal as well. They could have ended things with a Scorpio. Or they've been going through, they've been looking at a lot of things where they went wrong concerning maybe dealing with you. And this has this person, you know, going through a spiritual growth where they're ending their negative side and they're, they're going into a new beginning where they're more positive about things. You know, looking at things at a different perspective. But on the positive side. Um, so yeah, this person, they're, they're going to come in wanting a new beginning with you. Um, justice is here. Yeah, they're going to come in wanting a victory at getting a new beginning with you. They could have separated themselves from a Scorpio again. They could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Um, the eight of the eight of Pentacles is here. This person wants to come in and and they're willing to put in the work at rebuilding stability with you. So they're going to work on it if, if you allow if you allow it. You know, just to get this victory with you. Um, the Ten of Wands is here. Uh, this person is overwhelmed um, concerning you. You know, you excite this person. And they're excited about getting this new um, beginning with you if you, allow, if you allow it. A trip could be in play. You know, they may come in again. They may come in wanting to travel with you. Take some type of trip with you. Um, we have um, the fertility card here. Um, uh, Empress, Libra energy, Empress card. They're in love with you. This person, you excite this person. They're overwhelmed when it comes to you. They're in love with you. That's what's going on. This person is in love with you. They love everything about you. Okay, Aquarius is energy. Okay, and they're hoping the wheel turns in their favor concerning you. This person may feel like you're a gift from the divine. You're a gift to be in their, their you know, they feel like you're a gift from the divine to be in their life. You know, it's like, it's like this person puts you on a pedestal. Like, you're a blessing in their life. Um, The eight of Swords is here. They can't get out of a cycle without you on their mind. It's like everything they do, it's like you on their mind. They can't get out of that cycle of you being on their mind. They really don't want to end that cycle. They don't want to end the cycle with you. They want a cycle where they can have a new beginning with you. Aquarius is energy. Oh, oh yeah, this person will jump over. This person will jump a cliff. This this car, let's see what this car says. Okay, this person will probably jump off of a rooftop for you. Or they'll go through hoops. You know, if you needed this person to do something for you, um, they would jump for hoops to get it done for you. Okay, you make this person happy. So okay, this jumped over the, the, the laptop. All right, the sun card jumped over the laptop. So this person, you made this person very, very happy. Leo energy. Okay, you have some Leo in your chart. Uh, the five of cups is here. It could be someone else. They will protect you. Like I said, they will jump through hoops for you. This person will protect you. They're, they're very, they could be very defensive when it comes to you. Um, they would, they would do whatever they can to protect you from something. They could be hiding you from someone else. They could have someone else and they hiding you from that person. The person that they ended things with, you know, they could have been hiding you from this person because they feel like they have to protect you, you know, from anybody else. So or they could have been energy conflicted concerning you in the past. They're no longer energy conflicted concerning you. This person misses you. Um, they could have some type of guilt, shame. You know, maybe you guys got into an argument or something and they're feeling guilty or shame for what they may have said to you. 
All right, but all in all, this person dearly misses you. This person's in love with you. You make this person happy. And it's all going to be illuminated to you how this person truly feels about you. Because they're coming in. They're coming in, expressing these emotions. All right, like, share, hit the notification button, um, Aquarius. New viewers, subscribe. I'd like to have you as a subscriber. Enjoy your week ahead. All right, I love you guys. Until next time, I'm out.